The ongoing debate in disc golf is about putting being too easy, and these guys are definitely the cause for this debate. Today, we are going to be looking at the top putters in disc golf now. We have an honorable mention going out to Adam Hammes. He could definitely earn a spot in the top 10 on this list with a little bit more consistency in his putting game, but with it being the way it is right now, he's on the outside looking in. He definitely has weekends where it seems like he can never miss, but he also has some weekends where he just can't seem to find the bottom of the bucket at all. And when he's on, you can look for his name at the top of any leaderboard. Gosh. Mm. This year especially, Calvin Heinberg has been on a tear in his putting game, hitting 85% of his circle one putts, which has led him to get some wins on the pro tour. From hitting deep circle two looks or even some basketball putts, Calvin can do it all. In years past, Calvin has been kind of a streaky putter, which is why it lands him on the number 10 spot in this list, but he could definitely go higher if he keeps his current putting game on and keeps it that way. We can credit his putting prowess to his calm demeanor and his methodical oh form God, that's very consistent. <laughs> Coming in at number 9 on the list is the limestone laser Chris Dickerson. Chris is known for being a silent assassin who plays the best in the woods and can putt from anywhere. Chris got his nickname the limestone laser from throwing just amazing step putts on a laser straight to the basket. Some could say that Chris Dickerson started the wave of step putting due to his success with it. And for these reasons, Chris Dickerson is very deserving of a top 10 spot the in the best disc golf putters. Next on the list, we have Isaac Robinson, who is just a stone cold killer on the putting green. And considering that Isaac is still pretty new to the tour, it's very impressive that he's already one of the best in the game at putting. You can notice that Isaac doesn't really take that much time to line up his putts and just shoot it out. But it is pretty obvious that he has perfected a winning formula that helps him make a ton of putts. These putts help Isaac finish at the top of the leaderboard every week and even take down a major in an elite series event. Seven. Outside this at number 7, we have Michael Johansson. Newer disc golfers might not be familiar with his game, but they should be. He's been on the tour for a very long time and is most known for his amazing putting game and great shot shaping in the woods. And you know, cool guys don't watch explosions, and this is why Michael Johansson never watches his putt go all the way into the chains. You'll notice that most times, as soon as he throws it, he'll just go right down and grab his mini and onto the next hole. MJ is edge of circle. I mean, what an absolute beast. Although Michael Johansson doesn't play too many events on the tour anymore, you can still find him playing local A and B tiers and competing for wins. He does nice slow turnovers. Here at number 6, we find Eagle McMahon. With all the great putters in disc golf, it's hard to make a complete top 10 and be satisfied with it, which leads him falling all the way to 6. But in the last couple of years, Eagle has finally found a super confident putting stroke, which led him to a super dominant 2021 season before getting injured. In that great season of 2021 for Eagle McMahon, he hit 89% of his circle 1 putts, which ranked him 3rd on tour, and also ranked 7th on the pro tour in circle 2 putts, hitting 32%. Might as well. Eagle oh. McMahon, are you kidding me? Kicking off the top 5 on our list, we have Corey Ellis, who also, during the 2021 season, had a phenomenal putting year. He led the Disc Golf Pro Tour in C1X putting at a whopping 90.2%, which is one of the best Circle 1 percentages we've ever seen in the sport. Like Calvin Heinberg and Chris Dickerson, he has a very calm demeanor which plays a role in his putting game. Not only is Corey absolutely lethal from Circle 1, he's also known to hit some big Circle 2 putts. In the 2021 and 2022 season, Corey was in the top 5 in Circle 2 putting percentages. Definitely a no-brainer on this list. At number 4, we have another player that new disc golfers might not know, and that is Matt Bell. This two-time world putting champion has been on tour for quite some time now. Since the 2018 season, Matt Bell has made over 80% of his Circle 1 putts, which I wish I could do. This makes Matt Bell one of the most consistent putters on tour, and you should definitely be looking for his name at the top of the leaderboard on more wooded courses. Dude! Right. Sure. Dude! Sure. It is no surprise to see Paul McBeth's name in a video on the top 10 putters in disc golf. In 2016, Paul McBeth had one of the best putting years ever, hitting 120 out of 138 C1X putts. He ultimately led putting that year and went on to do it again in 2017. Historically, Paul McBeth has been an amazing putter. 
His worst putting year came in 2021 where he only hit 83% of his C1X putts. Yet he still won a major that year and almost captured another world title. There's a reason that many people call Paul Macbeth the GOAT. His extremely consistent putting, even in the clutch, is why he's considered the GOAT by many people. Number 2 may come at a shock to some, but if you look at the numbers, it should be no shock at all. We have Andrew Marweed. In 2022, Andrew Marweed set the record for best C1X putting percentage in one year at 92%, and he also came in at number 2 in C2 putting at 38%, meaning he is arguably one of the best disc golf putters ever. If Marweed can develop a better backhand form, you can definitely look out for his name at the top of leaderboards. And at number 1, no surprise to some, is Ricky Wysocki. In my opinion, Ricky Wysocki is the best putter in the clutch when it really matters the most. From cashing in huge birdie and eagle putts to saving pars from the woods, Ricky is all around the best putter in the game and a showman at that. I can make a whole separate video just off Ricky's biggest putts. You can best believe that no matter where Ricky is at at the fairway or in the woods, if he can see the basket, he's most likely going to hit at least metal. Over the years, Ricky has been an extremely consistent putter with a very strong mental game. To me, he's a no-brainer to have at the number one spot on this list. Let me know your guys' top 10 putters in disc golf, or maybe even a top 5. I greatly appreciate you guys for watching the video this long. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.